Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are bringing you a video about a multifaceted play to earn economy built on the Binance Smart Chain. Get ready to earn, collect, and battle your way through this video. All right, we're gonna give you some information on what they are doing, what the community looks like, and how to invest in the ecosystem. If that sounds good to you, please hit that like button and let's get that meta money. Rune is a small cap play to earn project being built on the Binance Smart Chain. They also plan to add support for Polygon Network in the near future. Currently, they offer a couple playable games with a marketplace and crafting feature. You'll need to connect a MetaMask wallet or another wallet you trust that supports the Binance Smart Chain. Once connected, you'll need some BNB in your account to swap over your RXS or Rune shards to start creating your account. You can use a built-in swap feature on their website or pancake swap to convert your BNB to RXS. All right, now don't forget, when you are using a DEX, you gotta make sure that you have the right contract address. We have added it below to the description. All right, now once you've got that taken care of, you can create and name your character and choose a guild, and then you're ready to start earning. You can download Rune Evolution and play it for free, but you're gonna need to create an account in order to earn. At the current value of the RXS token, you can start earning for just under 20 bucks. That's affordable for everybody. Now, you can play Rune Evolution to earn runes that can later be combined to crap different items for use in other upcoming games, or you could sell them on the Rune Marketplace. Remember, these runes are also a token on BSC that can be swapped for BNB. I like that. Now, the items you create are called Rune Words, which are unique weapons and armor that your character can equip for different bonuses. Currently, these rune words can only give you bonuses with liquidity for farming, but they'll have other uses within future games. You can earn runes in different ways. You can purchase them in the swap with other tokens, you could farm them as rewards in the liquidity pool, and you can earn them playing Rune Evolution. They currently have three other games in development, and more are planned to come in the future. Nice. Now, Rune Raids was the first game, and it's less hands-on with a yield farming approach, while Rune Evolution is a 2D style arcade game that's simple to play, but hard to master. You can earn runes by defeating other players and finishing in the top five in each match, with the winner taking the highest valued runes. It's currently playable as a browser-based game and also as a downloadable mobile and desktop app for both Mac and PC. It looks like you played in a lot of places. Now, Rune Infinite will be the next to launch and they have a preview up and available to check out. This will be a top-down 2D ARPG. I think we need a dictionary for all these acronyms. <laughs> Rune Sanctuary will take the Rune game experience to the next level with a 3D massive multiplayer online role-playing game or better known as an MMORPG. Uh, yeah, uh, so I'm really good learning a lot from you, but uh, all these acronyms are getting kind of crazy. Now, Rune Sanctuary will be offering land sales, NPCs, and even guild tokens to customize the world around you. And the final game on the Rune roadmap is Rune Guardians and is a 2D breeding game. Here, you'll be able to generate and hatch pets for use in other Rune games. All right, let's talk about their community. Rune has you covered, man. They, like other projects, they have a Discord where people are hanging out and they're very active. It's also a good place to find help with any problems or just general questions about the ecosystem. They've got threads for 12 different languages as well. Now, it's a smaller group in there with just under 20K members, but the people that are there are wonderful. There's 891 Rune Raiders, which are the group of moderators. Now, with people from all over the world, you're going to have no problem finding any help any time of the day. You can email the team at team at rune.game, too, if you're not on Discord. And, of course, you'll find all the links to their social media pages below. They've got all the bases covered, including links to their YouTube, Reddit, and GitHub, so you can check out the team behind the project as well as the code, if that's your thing. Nerd. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But they also have a great blog on Medium that keeps you updated monthly. We'll put a link down below that'll get you over there to check on that. Rune has a complex ecosystem with many opportunities to profit. The original Rune token was originally launched as an experiment to kickstart the ecosystem for Rune and help create a community that wanted to change the future of gaming. Now, Rune is a BEP20 token on the Binance Smart Chain, and it only has a max supply of 22,530 tokens. Out of that supply, 3,230 were burned, leaving a max supply of 19,300. In order to facilitate the token across the entire Rune universe, they created RXS, or the Rune Shards. Owners of Rune are able to trade one Rune token for 10,000 RXS tokens. The swap was deemed the Shardening. The Shardening? 
Yeah, the Chardonnay. Check your pants. Yeah, man. it was in November of 2021. Now, when you shard a rune for RXS, you can use a new token for in-game currency and rewards. Uh, that sounds good, a little bit better than I thought. Yeah. Now, you can still buy rune on PancakeSwap as a speculative investment, but the best and easiest way to earn is the play to current version of Rune Evolution to earn your runes and start building up your assets for other upcoming titles. If you're looking for a more passive approach, then the farming and liquidity pools may be the better choice. Either way, you're going to get in a small market cap project with a ton of potential for growth. We like that. We always talk about being in early. Now, once you earn those runes, you can swap them right on the site for BNB, making a possible daily earner. Now, check out the page for more details about the payouts and tokenomics. And the sharding. And the sharding. Well, that's going to do it for this video, and we hope you learned something. If you're looking at any other metaverse or small play to earn projects, please let us know. We want to learn from you. Absolutely. Also, make sure that you hit that notification bell if you like this style of content and you don't want to miss out on any more. Well, thank you for watching, and we're going to see you next time here on MetaMoney.